Hello everybody, we got a storm chase in this last week, so this video is taking a look at the structure of that storm in the distance. We're going to take a look, let's zoom in. So you take a look here, what do you see? Well, first off, the thing that really sticks out to you other than the gigantic windmills is that huge wall cloud back there. We're several miles away, but spotting from any distance is important, so we're teaching you about our distant view this last week. Here you can see the updraft base, you can see the downdraft over here. This stuff closer to us, these are just low clouds, but look how fast they're moving. This is a good sign. You have some really strong wind shear. When you see clouds moving like this, that means your winds are really strong in the low levels. A couple of things to look at at a distance here. First off, you can see how that wall cloud is changing shape. It just is pretty rapidly changing shape. That means you got some pretty strong rotation back there. And that's something to keep an eye on. Uh, in an environment like this, when you keep the environment in context, for what you're seeing, it, it's very clear that this thing is trying to produce a tornado. You can see another clue of that. You have a clear slot here working in from the left to the right, and that clear slot is a sign of the RFD surging around this mezzo. And honestly, you want to be keeping an eye on a storm like this in an environment like this. This thing could drop a tornado at any minute. Unfortunately, from this vantage point, this is the Texas Panhandle. You can't really drive everywhere. You don't have roads everywhere, but that ridge is going to keep us from seeing anything. Our next view, as we drive alongside this beast of a storm, this is a 45 mile per hour motion. So it's going to be a storm that's really tough to keep up with. You can see the RFD, this U shaped here. That's the RFD, very wet, surging around. You can also see right here, that is an area of intense rotation. What been watching that for a while for tornado potential. It's still there. You can see the inflow on the bottom here going across. You can see a few hang me downs. That's very interesting. You always want to keep an eye in this area for a possible tornado development quickly and then you can see the downdraft over here by these windmills and so this storm it's looking very interesting that area there in the middle that was rotating quite a bit is still there and that's honestly the the area you would look for it would be something like that for a tornado to pop out of right now i mean it's looking like it's falling apart honestly hard to see because you are at a distance but this storm is absolutely a monster storm. One of the things uh, that you want to keep in mind with storms like this that are big and messy, that left RFD, as this RFD surges around, it's going to really, really, really cover up that low level mezzo. You're not going to be able to see a tornado when that finally happens. It's just going to be extremely rain wrapped. Days like Saturday where the cloud bases are low, they tend to be wetter storms. It, it just is what it is. You can see there's a pretty good separation between the updraft and the downdraft though. That's a good sign you have strong wind shear aloft pushing, venting out that updraft. But man, when you get an HP storm like this, when it's going HP, see, you can already tell where's, where's that base? Where did that base go? It's because that rain is rapidly wrapping around that low level mezzo. And you're, you're, you're just not going to see a tornado at this point. Like, where would you see it? It's not there anymore. And that's because this storm has gone completely HP. But we're going to keep going north, try to get in position. We'll see what happens.